Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to my channel, it's Nikki here. This video was made for the Artsy Second Sunday Hop and this event is hosted by Martha I Love to Paint, also known as Ayala Art and ably assisted by the lovely Mona Creates. All links to the other creators channels will be in the description box below this video and in the comments section below pinned on the first post. Right, so the theme of this Artsy Second Sunday for me was International Nurses Day. Um, I don't know whether you know, um, but I'm a retired nurse. <laughs> so there you go. There's something you may not have known about me. So I um, started off by drawing, obviously, Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamp. And... Uh, and then I've started to paint her using, oh, sorry, creaky chair, by um, using my Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 watercolour pencils, which I absolutely adore. And uh, the paper I'm using there is just a sketchbook. Um, it's not made for watercolour papers, but I've never let that stop me. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I just, you know, I just do it. It would be nice to use watercolour paper, but this is like just a, um, this is like my little art journal. Um, it's a, uh, I, I don't know what size it is, it's probably an A4. And I cut the paper in half to make it last longer um, because I don't like to draw on the back of my papers. I, I only draw on one side of paper. So, um, and that stops, um, you know, when you have pages face to face, it, a stops them sticking together and uh, B it stops things smudging on what you've drawn so there we go I see the heading there was dealing with shadows and uh, sorry dealing with white white spaces and uh, so this is her headdress and um, sorry <coughs> excuse me this is her headdress and apron, which is what I mean by the white spaces. And she has a lantern there, which I've just coloured in yellow and darkening up, etc, um, etc. Et in my paintings and drawings, uh, you know, uh, it's all about working on the lights and the darks, you know, making the whites whiter, the, the brights brighter and the darks darker. Um, and so that's what I like to do. And that's one of the reasons why I like the Neo Color 2s as well is because it allows you to just go over and over and over them. <laughs> and it, they do darken down. Um, so, yeah, I've also used, I see I've got out already a um, distress marker. Uh, of course, because they're, they're water, basically watercolor 2. And um, I'll also be using my Tombow... Um, markers as well because uh, they're watercolour as well so um, yeah so they're both watercolours and I like to use them in that way and I will be using Posca pens also so darkening colours there as I say you know it's just darkening and lightning lightning colours of course it, as you darken something down it will help make other things lighter so you know it's, it's a great thing to do is to get things dark and uh, of course, because she a, has a lamp, this has to be a inverted commas night time scene. Um, so uh, I'm doing it with a little glow around her as well. Um, first time I drew a Florence Nightingale um, painting was with the Willowing Arts and um, with Tam from Willowing Arts. It was on one of her courses there. So. Um, I've painted her before in that way, so I've just altered a few things um, just to make her more my my um, Florence. But because it's, this is an archetypal kind of picture of Florence Nightingale, um, you know, she will appear with a lamp. <laughs> uh, so here we go, um, darkening eyes. I think at one point I made them too dark, so I had to lighten them again. And uh, and I lighten them using the method um, of just wet, re wetting it and then drying the brush into a uh, tissue. 
and uh, you just keep doing that until you've lightened off the colour again or you just dab your tissue onto where it's still wet and it will just pick up the colour from it and that's how you lighten it off again there. I think at one point or when I was really much too small and so I evened up the eyes a little bit f there as well. I'm too far away from the screen so I can't see what I did there. Oh, I see again adding more sh shadows which is darkening things down to make the lighter colours lighter. Um, I'm probably using the Stabilo All as well uh, which is one of my favourite um, pencils of course watercolour great watercolour pencil goes over most things goes over the top of most things so I'm um, <laughs> the splatter there I think I'm using my Stabilo All to make the splatter as well and um, please excuse my voice and that because I've just been recovered from bronchitis uh, so here I am adding a quote and this is a quote from Florence Nightingale and it says nursing is an art and if it is to be made an art it requires an exclusive devotion the finest of fine arts Florence Nightingale because it you know it's called the art of nursing <laughs> So here we are adding a border and I think I used my um, pit pen uh, which was a grey pit pen and I decided the grey pit pen wasn't quite dark enough for what I wanted so I went round it with my Stabilo wall and that you can see it's black there now whereas before it was grey. So I'm adding finishing touches here which is just doing all the pretty 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 bits you know just making sure that the highlights are really boom popping and uh, and she may look a bit blue to you, but it's supposed to be a nighttime sort of skin thing. So she's got, got a little bit of a bluey tinge to her colour, I think. Um, it was what I wanted to do. Um, in real life, you can't actually see it here, but she does have a lot of pink on her skin as well. So, yeah, IRL in real life. <laughs> uh, just ignore me when I start joking. Um, so yeah, I was going to add music to this video and then I thought, no, let's you know, give it a go. Let's talk it through because uh, it is sped up and I've cut out some um, pieces of it there because um, you didn't actually need to see it all. Um, you get the gist of it as we go along. And uh, so I thought it actually worked quite well. I want to thank you all again for watching the videos. Um, please do... Uh, hop along to the next person in the video um, hop um, and as I said before uh, their links will be in the description box below the video and in the comments section the first pin post, pinned post you've come to and I made the um, dark too dark there and smudged it so I'm lifting off the colour there and it did get into a little bit of a mess and I used a Posca pen to bring back the white and uh, that didn't work very well so then I went to a, a white gouache or gouache <laughs> never sure how you say that gouache or gouache um, and that worked really well with it so um, just at the last minute you know I just like mucked it up <laughs> as you can do but I pulled it back I pulled it back and it worked really well <laughs> so again thanks for watching if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe it, it, it really does help with the algorithms and wherever you are on your journey in life please do travel safely just want to say again thanks for watching see you all again very soon bye